and uh, try to describe that day and this circumstance. Well, it was the old court number one, which was smaller, a little bit more intimate, and it was packed. We played at 12 an hour later than they're starting this year. but I do remember a, a tremendous atmosphere, very unlike what we're used to at Wimbledon. They're usually very reserved, the crowd, very polite, but on that middle Sunday, a lot of children out, a lot of waves going on, a lot of animation. Supporting now for Deshi to try to hold on to serve. The serve is the weakest part in her game. She's very solid off the baseline. She has good volleys, moves well. Uh. She's had a lot of injuries. And a couple of years ago, she had an abdominal injury, forced her out of the game for a little bit. And she said that really hurt her service motion. She has an abbreviated swing now. Doesn't get a lot of power. Just goes for placement. that the abbreviated swing manager takes power away from the swing necessarily because I say Andy Roddick, the drafter. Shot spot clearly acknowledging that shot wide. Natalie <laughs> Deshi trying to get on the board here. Three games to Capriati. See, though she's gotten herself in great shape Natalie does she said she got so tired of being injured on and off that last year the end of the year took some time off especially with her upper body did a lot of gym work a lot of weights She is on the board, and it's three games to one in the first set. Capriati hitting right back into Natalie Deshi. Didn't have to really take a step, and therefore executes the passing shot. Passport to Wimbledon is the most comprehensive championships coverage online. So, warmly invited to log on to ESPN.com, search Wimbledon. saying earlier, Mary Jo, that the coach, Deshi's coach, says that uh, you know, he's out there banging balls mm -hmm. at her because she's got to get used to the, the hard-hitting Capriati, but I say hello. She better get used to hard-hitting women players these days because <laughs> you've got the Williams sisters, you've got Kim Clijsters, you've got, I mean, even the kids, Huntukova. Uh, Sharapova. Sharapova. Spren. Exactly. of Wimbledon. And of course, Capriati played here as a 14-year-old, was the youngest ever to compete at Wimbledon, reaching the, the excuse me, the round of 16. She had reached the semis at the French that year. She beat Kathy Rinaldi by one day, the youngest competitor at Wimbledon. Ah. 
Yeah, like Deshi trying to run around and hit a backhand. That shows you what her favorite ground stroke is. Sort of in the middle of the court. Jennifer Capriati in that uh, 1990 semi-final, as you said, just 14 years old, and then she comes out here, as you watch that one again, um, gets the fourth round, also fourth round of that, and her, the promise of one so young was phenomenal, really phenomenal, but she didn't play after 93 until, really effectively, until the, the 2000 year. She tried to make a mini comeback after some his horrendous personal problems that she suffered for years. Great point for Deshi. And that does it. Deshi breaks. We're back on serve. Players will change in. 3-2. Jennifer Capriati in front. He's 14 feet long. The hour hand, 9 feet long. Big thing. 3-2 on serve, first set, they've traded breaks. Early stages here of the match. This is Natalie Deshi serving to Jennifer Capriati. Court one. So much pace that time, there's Tom Gullickson. Capriati's coach for these two weeks. Coached her in the early 90s, 1990, 1991. Capriotti, after the French, said she wanted to come here by herself, knew that Gullickson would be here, said, will you help me out on the grass? And he was delighted to. She says she likes his attitude and that she gets a smile out of him. Well, he gets a smile out of about anybody. He sure does. He's so laid back and he makes practice fun for her. And that's so important that the older you get, practices start to get a little bit more monotonous to be able to keep practice fun and entertaining and just keep her light I mean when she's happy off the court normally she plays well on the court folks are slowly dribbling into this court one which can see 10 thousand plus people that's the uh, the scene at Wimbledon at one of the entrances here in fact I think it's the only entrance that they're using so they all have to go through this bag check and the security and as you can see they're still moving toward tennis well that's nice by a French woman good disguise for the drop shot Good comeback here on this first set for Deshi. Cut down the early break and now a point away from tying things up. You played against a major? I did. A couple times. And? I beat her once, lost her once. We all know, and I remember the toughest thing about playing her is that she did take the ball early and she was able to change the direction of the ball so well so if you hit cross court to her she could pick it up and hit it down the line which is so effective on the grass it's tougher to run it down three games all in the first set jennifer capriati number seven seed natalie deshi of france her opponent today traded early breaks Woo! and 15 love in this game Deshi is coached by Georges George Gauvin of France. Uh, Mom was a French, or is French Canadian, and a sports teacher. She comes from a tennis family. Her dad was a tennis teacher and a math teacher. Has an older brother and younger sister. We're all involved in tennis.
Capriati having to hustle at the last minute for that miss hit from Deshi. Again, Deshi not afraid to come up. Good swing volley. Jennifer Capriati holds. She's up for three. And the folks still making their way here to this All England Lawn Tennis Club for this middle Sunday. Only the third time in history. championship match between Jennifer Capriati and Natalie Deshi. <laughs> 15 love, three, four. Capriati ahead. Change of the rackets. Capriati had trouble at the French Open with her string tension. Every match, it seemed, she would switch to a different racket about two or three times. Oh. Capriati times the ball so well likes the sound of it. The tension has to be just perfect. And of course, with the conditions changing from day to day here, we're going to have a few rackets that are tighter for more control, a little bit looser when it's heavier. court really rewards a player who can initiate point quicker, who can take that first punch in a rally. Deshi. Back to 30 all now. Opportunity for Capriati. There's a down the line that's so effective. Really cuts the angles well. Natalie Deshi. And she holds her ground. Very rarely do you see Natalie Deshi playing far behind the baseline. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. what, what, how did it affect you when you got out against somebody who'd beaten you four straight times? I mean, did it, did it make you did it make you feel? Listen, I've got to do something different, or did it make you listen? I'm, let me make my reservation home because I'm going down again. <laughs> no, you just felt that, that you had to do something else, something more. <laughs> Game point, Deshi. And as of now, one of the things I'm noticing with Deshi is she's trying to hit her second serve a little bit harder. Trying to get a little bit more pace on it so Capriati can't step in and take a crack at it. Oh. Natalie Deshi holds. It's four games all. 
Dashi of France taking on Jennifer Caprietti, USA, the number seven seed, who last year got to the quarterfinals here at Wimbledon and then got to the semifinals of the US Open, a match that you really talked about that was so close in the semis. Four repeats for a set. Mary Jo, when you talk about trying to juice up the second serve a little bit, uh, I have two thoughts on that. Mm -hmm. so number one, when we saw the French Championship, we saw a lot of women players who needed to juice up the second serve. A lot of Russians? Yes. <laughs> Embarrassingly so. But on the other hand, we've seen a few here at Wimbledon who are juicing up the second serve and quite effectively young ladies like Carolina Sprim, mm -hmm. for example. I think with the women returning as well as they are nowadays, that's their strength. The serve is the next stroke that needs to pick it up, needs to go to another level. Besides Serena Williams, there's not a lot of women that possess a really solid, safe second serve. Sharapova looks like she's on the way. Cap yep, Capriotti's double fault there. That was her weakness in the last few years. Sharapova hits it. Lindsay Davenport has a good one. Sprem has a good one. If if what we saw this is from a real her thing, day in and day out, exactly. Sprem taking on Megan Shaughnessy of the USA today. That's a line clipper, and Jennifer Caprelli's got a game point. That was a big point left, 30 all, 4 all for Capriati to go out wide, one of her favorite shots to go back cross court, right in the corner. It was right in the corner from being right in the corner, mm -hmm. it was, that was, as you said, a huge point. She is uh, engaged to be married here in the next three months. Yeah. Jennifer Caprietti holds. We are on surf here at Wimbledon. We've had enough of water here this year. Take the rain away. Join us all summer long. Natalie Deshi serving here at 4-5 in the first set. First point to Capriati, love 15, she's three points away from the first set. She got the early break and was broken back to get, to, uh, get level at 3-3 in the first set. Placement by Deshi on the out wide serve. <laughs> Big hitting from Capriati. Deshi looking at the baseline. Right on it. 15.30 now. A lot of pressure on Deshi now. Get the first serve in. Oh! Almost. Very effective play by the French woman again. She takes the ball early, is able to hit it down the line. That opens up the court for Deshi. Solid volley. Capriati got to it, uh, and that was a tape clipper. Did not fall over for her. 30 all. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's a great volley, and that's from a really tough position because the pass from Capriati got low. Another look. But again, Deshi's just moving forward. She's inside that baseline and makes a delicate drop volley angle winner. Games all in the first set here. This is the middle Sunday of Wimbledon. Uh, not supposed to be tennis on this day ever, but for the third time in the history of this championship, because of two rain delays, in fact, two days in which there was no tennis played at all, we have tennis today. Jennifer Capriani, number 7C, <laughs> against Natalie Deshi of France. Early break going to Capriati. She had three games to love, but was broken back. Now we're at five apiece. They're set. It's kind of hard to believe that in 118 years of the championships, only been three middle Sundays played, considering how awful the weather can be here <laughs> year after year. Look, when I first started playing here, matches didn't start until 2 o'clock on all the courts. It, it's a mystery to me, too, because I is. started playing a lot earlier than you did, Mary Jo, and, and we didn't have tie breaks. I mean, we didn't have tie breaks, and still the match was over more quickly than these are now. a film of the matches played back in the 60s and 70s and we walk between points so much more quickly than they do now. You didn't sit down the changeovers. No, no, no chair to sit down. <laughs> you weren't allowed to. It was just like point over, give me the ball, let's go. Now it's like, uh, uh, wipe the brow, look over at the coaches, <laughs> check, see if mom and dad are watching, see if anybody left, walk over to the baseline, pick up a towel from the ball boy. How about catch your breath? <laughs> Six five first set, Deshi to serve and we come back. Natalie Deshi is about to serve here to Jennifer Capriati at 5-6 in the first set. From court one, this middle Sunday woman. Oh. Reiterate that Caprietti has been to the semifinals of Wimbledon twice, a successful competitor here, but uh, really one of the true legitimate contenders for the title this year. And you know, when, when the French Championships was over, Mary Jo, it's always easy to look back and say, well, you know, she played a dog of a match in, in, when she went down to Mesquina. But she was a, she, I mean, if she wins, she played a bad match against Mesquina, but if she had beaten her, what a chance she would have had oh, for another slam. She would have won. We're seeing Dementieva just fall apart in that final. She was so nervous. But I think there were a few factors. You see Capriotti attack this serve up the line. For Capriotti, she had a lot of tough matches getting to that semifinals. Three three-setters, and then all the hype around the quarterfinals with Serena. She hadn't beaten Serena in a Grand Slam since 2001 here in the quarterfinals. And I think she had a little bit of a letdown. It was almost like the tournament was over for her. She still had two more matches to go. I guess that, you know what, that's a good point, because the mental pressure, and forget the physical, just the mental pressure of beating Serena, the, the, the top player in the world, really, it takes its toll. Love 30. He's 
evening, 30 over. And now a game point and a set point for Capriati. to Capriati. The seesaw set. Remember that Capriati in four outings has never lost to Deshi. She's won the first set here and caught one at Wimbledon. When you get nausea... Oh. Capriati up 5-1. Natalie Deshi dumps the backhand in the net and Jennifer moves on. She's been very hard to beat in the third round of majors. 29-1. 92 U.S. Open was her only loss in this round. Back with Martina Angus. You've seen Jennifer around the grounds this week, she seems to be wearing smilers most of the time. Yeah, she definitely is. She was pushed a little bit in the first set, but came out strong in the second. We, you know, Deshi is a good all-around player. Doesn't have a real weapon, but, uh, you know, just Jennifer is steamrolling her in the second set, which was great to see. Yeah, she told us that she likes it as hard as possible. I don't know if I believe her, because this draw is very difficult. I mean, most players would say, put me in another quarter. Next up, Nadia Petrova. The last time they played Martina was at the French Open a year ago. Petrova took out Jennifer Capriati. Well, that's going to be a hard-hitting match. You have to watch out for Nadia Petrova. A month ago, she was still seen as number six player in the world. Had big serve and um, a lot of games. A lot of big hitting, not many long rallies. It's going to be winner run for Sarah in that match for Capriati. Yeah, for sure. It's like first come, the one player who's going to be more aggressive first is going to take out the winner. Uh, I could see a lot of errors coming from Petrova, but if Jennifer's on her game, on the ball, on the toes, as we've seen her, she's going to come out and play well. Possible collision course with Serena Williams in the quarterfinals. Golovin and Gallardi next opponent for Serena. They're three all in the third set when the rains came. Meanwhile, Amelie Moresma, we've been talking about how open the draw is for the number four seed. Ludmila Sevenova, they played in Paris a few weeks ago. This was even worse than that match, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I saw Servanova in that first round collision they had at the French Open and just her attitude on court wasn't all what you see from a tennis player. But, I don't uh, think she has a lot of belief against Moresmo, who has really played yeah. well here. First serve, look at it, not even trying for that serve. Yeah, I mean, we've seen Emily, Emily Moresmo play in the semifinals here in her last appearance and I think we could see her again in the semifinals of this tournament. Right, she didn't play here last year because of injury, but in her most recent Wimbledon, she did get to the semifinals, and it's right there for her. Certainly it would be uh, Serena, Capriati, or Petrova very likely in the semifinals. Up next for her, the winner of Rana Pasquale and Farina Elia. They split sets in their match when the rains came. Yeah, Farina Elia and Rana Pasquale. Uh, I think, didn't really trouble her? No, I mean, the one is the veteran and the other actually beat me here in the first round match uh, a while ago, but... Uh, Never forget the losses. <laughs> Carolina Spram was 19 years old, Maria Sharapovic, 17, Golovan is 16, some fresh faces, some teenagers really making a yeah, noise that's here. really good to see, you know, Golovan Spram, um, she seems to have the tiebreakers down at this tournament. Doesn't she, yeah. <laughs> Beating Sha Shaughnessy in a couple breakers, but uh, I really like, I'm impressed by that girl. Her game, very aggressive, you know, stays on her toes and is not afraid of going through there. Sheriff Pope in the same side of the draw, perhaps, as Lindsay Davenport, that could be a potential semifinal. 